Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, August 27th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I have a purring cat behind me who is happy. Hello. And I have this beautiful cross to help me pray. My flowers are still so beautiful. We continue in First Kings, and Solomon is doing great. He is so wise. He writes proverbs and poems, and his wisdom becomes renowned in all the East. His kingdom spreads all the way to the Euphrates, and people know him as wise, and it says that he speaks of trees and plants and animals and birds. So his wisdom is rooted in the earth, which is so good. He starts negotiating with Hiram, who is the king of what is today Lebanon, because Solomon has one more thing he wants to do. Now that there is peace all around him, now he is respected and loved. It's time to build a house for God. And so he and Hiram negotiate. And they decide that Hiram's people will bring wood. They will sail it down the river. And Solomon's people will take it from there. Meanwhile, Solomon's people will give Hiram wheat and olive oil. When you think about it, this is a brilliant trade based on the natural gifts of each land. Israel was bountiful in terms of wheat and olive oil, but Lebanon, which was much hillier, had a harder time growing those crops. Lebanon, however, had lots of timber. And so these two great kings negotiate, come to a deal, and thousands upon thousands of men are forced to work in order to bring the wood over to Jerusalem. And Solomon instructs that this house of God is now to begin to be built, and it is to be built without tools. Don't ask me how they're gonna do that. <laughs> Solomon is a negotiator, he's a ruler, and he's wise. And he's wise in the way of the earth. He studies trees, he studies the ground, he studies plants and animals. Maybe some of the wisdom that we have lost is in listening to our own earth. I find it fascinating that Solomon's wisdom is bound to the functioning of this earth and the things that it produces and the way it functions. Solomon was a man of the environment and now he feels it's time to fulfill the promise that God made to his father David that the house of God would be built by his son. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful earth and for the wisdom that it imparts to us. We thank you for the natural resources that each land is given. We thank you for the wisdom of the trees, the plants, the animals, and the birds. And we thank you that Solomon learned from these things. Help us too to be wise and help us to care for your house, the church, the synagogue, or wherever we worship, that the giving of our resources and time and love to these places of higher calling makes us wise. We thank you for the beautiful cathedrals of this country and all over the world. We thank you for beautiful houses of worship of all faiths and for the effort and labor and love that went into building them. Help us to preserve them in our wisdom. And we ask you to bless all the peoples of this earth and to heal us of this coronavirus. Help us to step forward in faith, confidence, 
wisdom and safety as we enter this new era. Help us to trust in our doctors and nurses and to give thanks for their hard work and their intelligence. Bless this earth and heal us of violence, Lord, and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.